passing attack. Third down and seven now. Down goes Shermer. Lorenzo Carter with the sack. Georgia had five of them last week. First one today. Gets a quick throw. Little speed sweep. McKenzie. Their most dynamic player offensively. Picks up 17 yards. Was winged off of the tackle, and he was just going to blow up that nose tackle. Instead, ended up being a tackle for loss. Here's McKenzie. Boy, how about that little shake and bake? Third down and 15 for the dogs. Recent straight drop. In the air and caught. Riley Ridley will have the Bulldog first down at the 25-yard line, a 26-yard pickup. The Commodore defense really stepping up. Recent will throw. Pass is caught. Reggie Davis. Gaston gets a blow. Williams in the secondary for the Commodores. Eason steps up in the pocket. He's going to run, and he'll slide down. And Georgia will get the timeout. Eason passes caught. Inside the 20, down to the 19-yard line. Go Primary targets, one of Easton's favorite go-to guys. To the end zone, touchdown, Georgia. It is the freshman, Isaac Nauta. Loose football. Shermer is dropped. He falls on top of the football, but a loss of six. Going called in the first quarter. Well, fourth down and 13. Over the middle. Wide open is Godwin. First down at midfield. How did he get so open? 23 yards. Incredible. Swift is swift. Chubb runs violent as you see him right here. He's gone. Touchdown, Georgia. Boy, did they make that look easy. Well, what happened is they started going NASCAR off offense. Use this win at their back in case they have to kick a field goal. Michelle. Sony Michelle inside the 15. From the throw. Swift in the flat. Dives for the pylon. What's the call? Touchdown. Touchdown. Down. Two tight ends on the field, two wide outs, and Webb. Webb trying to get to the outside. Tries to use a stiff arm. Nothing doing, says Roquan Smith, their leading tackler. Blazing game tries to go up the middle. Did not have a chance because Jawan Taylor was right in the hole waiting for him. Has played Alabama this year. The reaction is just wow. This is from got away, steps out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. Chubb, look out. Touchdown, Georgia. Twelve carries, 106 yards, and two touchdowns. 222 pounds at full speed. From Rifles one wide open, touchdown, Terry Godwin. 47 yards, and Jawan Williams was beaten by a step and a half. Michelle straight up the middle. It's a foot race. Sony Michelle, was he out of bounds? Signal is touchdown, and no indication from the trail defender that he started the trail referee that he stepped on the sideline but boy that was close too they came into this game allowing 9.2 web no chance 
What a wonderful job by DeAndre Walker. They'll go with Blazing Game in the Wildcat. Instead, Shermer takes the handoff, and Blazing Game is stuffed. All 235 pounds of them. Good protection. Playing man-to-man -man defense so they don't see Fromm scrambling, and he's able to get a lot of yardage out of that. Quarterback keeper, Fromm. Well, Kirby will like that one a lot better. Holyfield is the running back. He had the last carry. He's got it again, and Holyfield straight up the middle. Touchdown. I hate to see that out of Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt is just about to shut it down. You know, they're barely getting in their stance. Georgia brings pressure up the middle, and it's blown up. Tyler Clark slid right through to loss of two. Jim Cheney said it's benefited him greatly because he knows the concepts of every position. From going deep, high arcing shot. It is hauled in. Terry Godwin, and he stays up. Godwin dances into the end zone. 75 yards. 6 3, 225. And Fields will keep it. No, he gave it up, and Holyfield has open field to the pylon. Touchdown, Georgia. 24 yards for Elijah Holyfield. They're as comfortable and confident <laughs> as I've ever seen Dr. Field. This one's a big one. It's Isaac Nana's first grab, and it gets Georgia deep into Vandy territory on a gain of 28. Fish hook in the calf. Same shot, bobbled and caught. Riley Ridley with the touchdown grab. It's Little League. Also was a star in the mound. He slipped. The worst of the Swift is run by everybody. Whoa! DeAndre Swift weaves his way to a 35-yard touchdown. He was a little excited after the game, wasn't he? He was fired up. Look at his speed. DeAndre Swift finally taken down after a gain of 24. Fields on play action. Looking for a post route. That's covered up. Sideline grab by Godwin. And they say he is inbounds. Fields hands it off. Here's Harrion. And he'll take it to the goal line. And the whole pile goes over. Touchdown, Georgia. 12 yard physical run for Brian Harrion. Another big run. This is James Cook, the freshman. All the way down Tanier Creek and gone! 78 yard sprint. As James Cook takes up, takes off up the sideline, he's running right over the top of the creek. He may have had his foot in the water at what's that, the 37? Carrier steps out of bounds at the minus 44 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Georgia. Please reset the game clock. Was the final after Kentucky missed a 43-yard go-ahead field goal with a shot up the crossbar. James Cook again. First and goal for Jake Fromm to throw it for the first time. Corner end zone. Touchdown. Demetrius Robertson. The cleaner the ball comes out, just like you saw. It's a rare negative play for the dogs. First and 20. On a crossing run. Plenty of room for Robertson this time. The speedster who started his career on the West Coast rips off a 17-yard run. Who cares what month it is. It is always alive. Just setting up a screen. Landers cuts it back. Matt Landers' second catch. He's showing a little bit what he can do. It's a gain of 15. My guys coming to town wanting to play for Sam Pittman, their fine O-line coach. Here's Robertson. Georgia stretching the field end to end with some of that movement back when he was with Jimbo Fisher in Tallahassee. Here's James Cook. Cook's got the 10, five touchdown. Two possessions for Georgia, a pair of scores. Cook takes it in from 18.
Play action from Swift. Trump pulls it back, hits his target. Lawrence Cage, the Miami transfer, takes it all the way down to the 21. 36 yards on play action. That big offensive line opens holes for running back. Swift, huge hole on the right side. And DeAndre Swift has him knocking on the door again. That one covers 16 yards. Fromm gives it up. Swift on the run. And a great sign for Georgia. Not only a 37-yard run, but he was running behind Matt Landers, blocking on the edge. Bandy scored on each of their last two possessions in the second quarter with a couple of field goals. And they will get nothing on that run by Keyshawn Vaughn because Jordan Davis, the sophomore from Charlotte, found his way into the backfield. It's a loss of four. Second and six. And Zamir White. Dog fans love him. And for good reason, ball punched out from behind. It'll get out of bounds and stay with Georgia. His line can't hear him. Neal. Sacked. Jumped inside the five that brought the house, and the house came down on him. Aziz Ojolari. Neal lost it. It was another high snap. He never got control of it. And it's recovered by Devontae Wyatt. Doors have to get to the 27-yard line. They just go to the ground and no chance. Jalen Carter, number 88, may be about as talented as number 99 who plays in front of him. They said he took the reps this week and really no concerns health-wise for the quarterback. He'll throw immediately and quickly to Lade McConkey, the possession receiver. Gets the first down and the yards after the catch. McConkey's not known for that. Quite interested to see Stinch if they start feeding him the football today. On an end around, it's Bowers. Bowers dives to the goal line. Yes, touchdown. How about calling a sweep to your tight end? Two for two today. Daniels all day throws to the into the side the 10 to the 5 to the goal line touchdown Bowers he can do all three things so when by the time we get to April you're talking about that top pass rush group like we did last year with Aziz Ojolari Adam Anderson's going to be a part of that group there's a fumble on the field and Georgia has recovered it and they're down inside the four yard line. It was picked up by Dejon Edwards. Florida visiting the swamp and then up there in Happy Valley. Seals throws again in the traffic and it's picked off. Bouncing off one dog and it's Christopher Smith who took one to the house against Clemson. He gets his second pick of the year. Who was in on that tackle off the field helmet issue. Daniels in zone. Touchdown, Lad McConkey. <laughs> Instead, it's an end around to McConkey. He's got wide open turf in front of him. Another Georgia touchdown. Well, here today, they would otherwise be behind. All those players that you just mentioned in the depth chart. Play action again. Bennett, plenty of time to set his feet and throw a good ball. And it's the third touchdown of the day for Brock Bowers. It's the toss and throws inside the 10 and down inside the five is Fitzpatrick. It's first and goal. Over the ball. McIntosh, how easy is that? Uh-oh, watch out. Just a free run by Robert Beal to the quarterback. Maybe a little retouching. Third and three, Edwards, look at this hole. Touchdown.
turnovers, misfiring on downfield shots. Missouri gave them more than they wanted. Now Missouri's struggling on the road. Throw it, Mike, all the way, and is it picked off? I believe so. Kamari Lassiter. That's the call on fourth and seven against this defense. No way. Warren Brinson helped get in there.